and we are live with the 27th episode of the Game Session Podcast. I'm your host, Jose, slash Seth Okage. Uh, this week, I am joined by both Sarah and Corey. How are the two of you doing? Hello, everyone. It's been forever since I've been on here, it feels like. <laughs> <laughs> An eternity, I'm, some might I'm say. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. <laughs> I got my second vaccination, so I got through the side effects of that, and I'm doing great. It's been about a week since that. So I got one more week, and I can start licking doorknobs again. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Back to normal. Business yeah. as usual. <laughs> so when we all come over to your house, we should not touch the doorknobs? I mean, sharing is caring. I mean, I'll spray them, I'll spray them with Lysol before you come. And then just- you'll lick them? That, no, that, I'll that, lick them and then spray them with Lysol. You'll be fine. The Lysol, de- the Lysol destroys the flavor. I need the, I need the premium flavor experience of, of doorknob <laughs> licking. You. You almost like me doorknob. Sarah, you want to introduce yourself for the audio listeners, despite oh God, the hi. visual cue? You can't you can't see me, but I'm but I'm holding my Chris Redfield statue because he brings me comfort and warmth. <laughs> uh, how much warmth can a plastic model bring you all kinds <laughs> plastic tools can bring lots of joy Corey. Uh, it depends on what tool you're talking about is it? <laughs> <laughs> anyway me. anyway at the top of the know, show it. i need to give the give the spiel the rundown <laughs> Uh, Game Session Podcast is filmed here live on Sundays at 6.30 p.m. PST. You can find it later on podcast services as well as on YouTube as full episodes and individually cut up segments. You can find the link tree to all my links down below. Everyone's Twitters, Twitters, uh, ats, whatever and whatnot are on screen. They're also going to be in the description. Uh, Big shout out at the top of the show to uh, Ramen Sly, Fourth Big Boss, and uh, Bo. I'm, I'm sorry if I butchered your last name. Uh, Borchat, um, for being patrons on my Patreon. Thank you very much for that. Um, with that, we shall commence the big Resident Evil Village spoiler cast, which, as Yay. the title might imply, if you, if you look carefully in that title, you might see the word spoiler. <laughs> so there will be all the spoilers in here. So uh, run really if you should, can. We really should have that like Law and Order sound that. <laughs> <ching, ching. laughs> <laughs> like right when the spoilers uh, are about to begin you know oh <laughs> uh, dude i i hear that like 50 times a day my my partner des she she watches that like religiously so it's just like uh, i'll just be playing something just i like, hear dun dun because she watches it like hella loud it's oh i'm um cool. uh I'm, I'm gonna plug another podcast i've been listening to a podcast called that's that's messed up which is a law and order S- svu cast <laughs> which is named after the one thing that uh that ice ice tea's character says pretty much all the time and it's just for these two <laughs> women talk through an episode and explain what like happens and stuff with like hilarious commentary and they also discuss the real crime or the crime that fans think it's based off of so it's like a true crime podcast but it's also in law and order S- svu cast it's wonderful i get much much entertainment <laughs> Uh, thank you to the one and mighty uh, Dick Wolf for bringing that into existence. That's a name. Hey, <laughs> hey, I, Dick, Wolf. Dick Wolf has created a lot of uh, freaking uh, procedurals. So good, good for Dick Wolf. And uh, speaking of Dick Wolf, let's start talking about other Dick Wolves. <laughs> <laughs> um, I know we said it. I think. Was it, was it last week or whatever? I just want to get this out of the way. There's no werewolf, Chris. I was right. So it was wrong. We don't, we don't I have am to, so sad. We don't have to stay but, on that, Teal. No, I want to stay on this for like a hot minute. Because Capcom had been like leading you on throughout the entire game. Even with the statue that has the like wolf logo on it. And the fact that his entire squad is called the Wolf Pack. Like, come on, I guys. Think that's, that's what it was referring to, is that he's I the alpha. I don't care. Kid, you know? I don't care. I, I think you <laughs> had very wishful thinking. The entire game. And I, like, let's be real. I was happy he wasn't super evil. I didn't believe that he was going to be evil. Am I pissed he's not a werewolf? Yes. <laughs> can, I, can I just get this straight, Sarah? When... What gave you the, uh, the idea that Capcom would be literal ever? 
I, I just I just took that poster like literally half of Chris's face, half a wolf face. Like come I, on. I, I literally just took literal the, though. Yeah, I, I literally <laughs> just took that as like marketing, just like, oh, that looks cool. There's werewolves and there's Chris. Like there's just movie posters all over the place that do stuff like well, that. Well, like you can't argue that Corey, your your inter interpretation is totally correct. Was they literally did that? Because he's the leader of a group called the Wolfpack, and I think they call him Alpha, don't they? Like I swear he's, that is Alpha. He is Alpha. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, you could say that they did that, but a girl can dream. But apparently, Capcom doesn't follow with those dreams. When I just say, you know what, I want Chris to turn into a giant wolf at some at some point, and be hot while doing it. What do um, I get? I get nothing. I get, <laughs> I get pieces of a baby, and I get. D- d- and I'm and I'm you know I become a simp for Heisenberg, but I don't get Wolf Chris. Like I get so many things from this game that I was not expecting. But Chris but Wolf Chris was not one of them. I have two words for that. Wah wah. Rude. I mean, and to be fair, <laughs> technically they were not wolves at all. They were just molded creatures. Lichens. Wow, they were Barry. You... They're called <laughs> lichens. If you yes, want to be specific. Just... <laughs> They were just molded, molded rejects is what they were. Wow, Barry, you sure were barking up the wrong tree. Fuck just, off. Uh, <laughs> is, like, is that, like, I wish... Corey, Corey, is that too much to wolf down? I fucking hate you. I oh mean, if we're going <laughs> deep enough in lore, the fact that the mold can also make people into like lichens, it's like, okay, what can't this do? <laughs> it, it's all <laughs> magic. It, it, it is science magic. It's true. Well, That's like, true. It's like scientific magic, and if well, it's like not I mean, explained, if, it's if you want to get like if you want to get like the most yeah. literal stuff, whenever there's like a crazy like the thing transformation in like any of the Resident Evil games, it is physically impossible to to make more matter out of nothing. Like it it is fucking it's just magic. It, it's just pure dumb B horror movie magic, and it's I fucking know, beautiful. But also, this way it one is. more thing I'm gonna get on because we're able to spoil this. How did no one know that Megamucite was beneath the whole village? Like so. Should have had would have gone down there, and it's like I'm sorry. What is I mean, this? why would they go in the caves? But but we'll get to that. We'll we'll, we'll stick in like some semblance of order. Um. So do also, we want to go? Chris stays here, by the way. He's not leaving. So what? do we want to go story point by story point? Do we want to start with anything general, or what? What's the feel of the room? Um, I feel like let's go down. Let's go down the list and go like uh, like chapter to chapter and i i feel like we can split this up between the beginning of the game uh the introduction of the village the four lords and then of course the ending of the game sounds good uh, i got my note my physical well not physical digital notes prepared but you smarties over here claim it's all in their head big for our bodies moreau style <laughs> <laughs> all we right, just so have all this shit memorized all right. So then, uh, uh... From 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 starting from booting up the game to the introduction or through the introduction of the game itself to where you're finally just controlling Ethan for the first time. Ethan has a very nice house. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Like you know, it, it's weird that the layout of it actually doesn't make too much sense to me, at least the first floor, because there's the entrance, you go left, there's like little living room, pass out as a kitchen, there's like a whole giant right side of the house that you seemingly can't get to, like there's a there's like a Harry Potter little under the stairs room right yeah. there. Yeah, well like, uh, it's, it's, I, I would be surprised if it was designed by the same dude who, who designed the Spencer Mansion, or who designed the but, like Dolby house in Louisiana. But to your point, it, it felt like I, whenever I play a game for the first time, I spend like an inordinate, an, yeah, I can't talk right now, inordinate amount of time just like exploring the environment, soaking mm-hmm. in like the mise scene of it of it all. I'm just like, there's a lot of care and detail put into there. Like Ethan and Mia really settled down and put a, put a whole uh, life together. Oh, Which- oh, before I forget, I, I want to say this. How, okay, Ethan went through a lot in Resident Evil 7. He got his arm chainsawed off by Mia. He got hacked with a knife by Mia. He got a screwdriver in the hand before he got chainsawed off. How is he comfortable living with a person that, like, even if she was mind controlled, whatever, how is he comfortable living with the person, sleeping next to the person, conceiving a child with a person that literally chainsawed his fucking hand off? He is either the most forgiving, most. He's either the most compassionate motherfucker in the world or he's just stupid. I was, like, actually, r- 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 
because regardless I, well, if she was because uh, she was controlled but still how how can you not look at at that person and be like fuck you cut off my hand dude uh this has actually been discussed i i think on a few videos that i've watched uh ethan as a protagonist is he he's he he's he doesn't have a whole lot going on upstairs. <laughs> he doesn't. He just does. Wait, uh, not. We'll get to that later. <laughs> yeah. It's not just his face that's missing. It's his entire brain. Yeah. We'll get to that. Um, well, also, I want to discuss how Mia fucked him because there's many questions. I have many, <laughs> many questions related you see, to that. See, when a mommy and oh, no, when a person loves another person. When you person. think about it, when you think about it. 